Riddle me this, Vol Nation. It can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it is violence you'll find. <laughs> On this week's episode of What to Watch Wednesday, we are talking about the box office hit, The Batman, who serves justice to those who deserve an effort to make Gotham City a safer place. The Batman is epic, just pure intensity, and it brought in $128.5 million at the domestic box office this weekend. <clears throat> it stars actors Paul Dano as the Riddler, Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman, Colin Farrell as the Penguin, Andy Serkis as Alfred, and of course, Robert Pattinson as Batman. There's car chases, gangsters, explosions, funerals, cats, and riddles. The lighting, high stakes, the gore, and the slow burning eerie feeling that builds throughout the film make it feel horror-esque without all the insane jump scares. Maggie, what are your thoughts on this film? I, I absolutely love this movie so much. It was so, so good. It was such like a fresh take on Batman, I think. I feel like all the other ones just kind of make it like punchy, punchy, and this one really lead into the detective side of Batman, which yes, I really like. I agree. He was out there with the police, like solving all the riddles himself, going to the crime scenes, and I thought that was really, really cool. I agree. I thought Robert Pattinson did an amazing job of being both Batman and Bruce Wayne. I was actually surprised. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was with him from the start. I love Robert Pattinson, and I knew he's gonna do a great job. But seeing him as Bruce Wayne kind of not be that like playboy billionaire that we've seen in all the other yes. ones and kind of see Just him dark like, and broody. Yeah, like yeah, like a reclusive, like millionaire young guy. I thought that was just a really cool side of him to see. And uh, Wayne Manor was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, the absolutely. The set design, the costume design just made it so immersive. Like the oh, whole absolutely. universe you just got sucked in for all three hours. <laughs> the world building was insane. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. But I think my favorite part about this film, this Batman film, is the Riddler. Absolutely. I thought what they did with him was absolutely incredible, making him like a Unabomber, Zodiac killer type instead of like campy guy in a green suit with a cane. Yeah. I thought it was just so, so cool to kind of ground that character and make him something that could actually happen in real life. Yeah. I thought that was absolutely amazing. And when a movie has me thinking about its villain for days after I see the movie, you know it's a good one. Because <laughs> really? I cannot stop talking about the Riddler. No, seriously, I can't either. <laughs> While I was watching it, there were some scenes that reminded me of parts in the video games and actually in the animated movies. So it was really cool to see like the world building process of like kind of bringing all those different parts of Batman into this film. It was very, very immersive. The production was incredible. Like there were so many scenes where like I felt like I was there with Batman, like especially with the camera work. It just felt like I was there in Gotham solving these riddles with him. It was really cool. <laughs> that car chase scene. Insane. <laughs> Absolutely oh insane. Definitely worth all three hours, I would say. It is a very Absolutely. long movie. It is so long. You will be invested for Absolutely, yeah. Well, that's it for this week's episode of What to Watch Wednesday. Tell us your favorite riddle in the comments below, and we'll see you here after spring break on What to Watch Wednesday.